Hi, welcome to today's class. Today we are going to start with a new topic that is 8.2 section Brooks theorem. Okay, and we have already a result that uh, the chromatic number, the chi is always less than or equal to delta plus 1. The vertex chromatic number is always uh, less than or equal to delta plus 1. This is the maximum degree of the vertex. Okay, and we have a result that uh, Wiesing's theorem says that uh, the edge chromatic number delta is less than or equal to edge chromatic number chi dash less than or equal to delta plus 1. Right, in this theorem, Brooks theorem, there are only two types of graphs of G for which chi equal to delta plus 1. Graphs are a graph with an old cycle or, or a complete graph which has chi is equal to delta plus 1. Uh, the Brooks theorem says that uh, if G is connected symbol graph and is neither an old cycle nor a complete graph then chi is less than or equal to delta chi is less than or equal to delta then what happens to this uh, when this g will be an odd cycle or a complete graph right suppose uh, for an odd cycle for an odd cycle what will be the result for an odd cycle odd cycle let c n be the odd cycle uh, then chi of uh, cn is always, this is a cycle, okay. That is always is equal to, that is a 3, okay. This is an old cycle, I am coloring this with the color blue. This is green, I can color this by blue and this G. So we can color this vertex with uh, another color that is red so at least two three colors are required to complete this coloring of this uh, graph okay so chi of cn is always three okay what is that this is equal to delta plus one maximum degree is two okay so two plus one this is equal to delta plus one similarly for a complete graph for a complete graph graph that is kn can take kn then chi of kn is always is equal to what chi of kn is always is equal to n right and this is k3 okay suppose this is k3 so this is we have we, uh, we need three colors one two three colors to complete uh, the coloring right and we know that uh, this is uh, actually uh, connected to uh, three vertices okay so kn in kn uh, all the vertices are connected to n minus one vertices so the degree is equal to this is n minus one plus one that is equal to delta plus one okay this is delta plus one so chi of uh, kn is equal to delta plus one right so for an odd cycle and for a complete graph this chi is always equal to delta plus 1 and for all other graphs right this chi is always less than or equal to delta is uh, by brooks theorem okay so we are going to prove this theorem let's assume that uh, g be connected symbol graph and is uh, neither an odd cycle nor a complete graph okay and also let a chi of g is equal to k chi of g is equal to k and we have to show that uh, chi of g is less than or equal to delta chi of g is less than or equal to delta we have to prove and uh, we already assumed that uh, the chromatic number of G is K. Okay, So if we know that every K chromatic graph has a K critical subgraph, say H. So chi of G is equal to chi of H equal to K. Right. So without loss of generality, we can assume that uh, G is K critical. G is K critical. K chromatic with uh, a K critical subgraph uh, means g is a k critical graph 
Since G is K critical graph, we have a theorem that G is a block. G is a block. And also we know that one critical graph, one critical graph is a, uh, actually K1 order. Two critical graph is means K2 order that are complete. We know that are complete. And uh, three critical graphs are always odd cycles. So that is a result. So we have to remember that. Three critical graphs are always odd cycles. So let's assume that the k is greater than or equal to 4. k is greater than or equal to 4. Okay. So uh, if g has a two vertex cut, suppose that g has a two vertex cut, say u comma v. Then we have a result of that by corollary using the previous corollary okay so uh, a degree of u plus degree of v is greater than or equal to 3k minus 5 what is this k k is a chi of g chromatic number vertex chromatic number and we have already know that a degree of u is less than or equal to delta and degree of v is less than or equal to delta right so uh, from this we can easily say that uh, 2 delta is greater than uh, greater than or equal to 3k minus 5 which is equal to 2k plus k minus 5 we know k is greater than or equal to 4 here okay so applying here 2k plus 4 minus 5 so in total 2 delta is greater than or equal to 2k minus 1 that is k is less than or equal to delta plus 1 by 2 then k is less than or equal to delta so, if G has a two vertex cut, the theorem is uh, proved. Okay. Okay. Now, suppose that uh, G is a three connector. That means vertex cut of G has at least uh, three vertices. Okay. And we have uh, G is not complete. Okay. So, there exist vertices U, V, W, E, G such that U, W, that is an edge, not belongs to E of G, edge set such that and u v v w okay uh, this type of graph u v this is v and uh, this type okay this is uh, v this is u and uh, w this uh, u w is not in the uh, uh, that edge is not in our graph okay such that u v and v w belongs to the edge set now order the vertices of G as follows. Okay. Set V1 equal to U. Set V1 equal to U. V2 equal to W. And let V3, V4, etc. And Vn equal to last is V. Okay. And B, the, this type. V1 is equal to U here. V1 is equal to U. V2 is equal to W. Then V3, V4, etc. The final vertex is V actually right and any ordering of the vertices of g minus uv uw such that each va is adjacent to some vj each va is adjacent to some vj for j greater than i right right such an ordering is possible always now give a delta coloring of g to this set Okay. Assign color 1 to V1 and V2. V1 and V2 means U and W is not connected. So we can color with the same color. Right. Then successively the colors V3, V4, etc. Right. E each with the first available color from the list of 1, 2, 3, etc. up to delta. Okay. So by the construction of sequences V1, V2, etc. Vn. Each vi for 1 less than or equal to i less than or equal to n minus 1 is adjacent to some vertex vj, some vertex vj with a j is greater than i, with a j is greater than i. And therefore vi is adjacent to at most delta minus 1 colors from the vertices vk with the k is less than i. Okay. So, thus each vi for 1 less than or equal to i less than or equal to n minus 1, one of the colors 1, 2, 3, etc. up to delta will be available. 
okay so finally since vn equal to v that is adjacent to what v1 and v2 that is u u and uh, w right so we, u and w is colored with the color 1 so uh, we have to color that uh, v by using the other other colors from the list delta minus 2 colors right it can be assigned one of the colors 2 3 etc up to delta right hence uh, we have a delta coloring of g thus in all cases the chi is less than or equal to delta okay